This is probably the most dangerous uh, part of the day. Making this right hand turn on this busy road here with all these cars coming at me. I'm here in Japan on my second day back rice farming and we're harvesting all the rice that I planted this spring with my with the company that I'm working, I'm working with. And I'm learning the Japanese uh, rice system on um, you know how they manage their their planting system and harvesting and everything else. So these series of videos are kind of my video v blog uh, working at a Japanese farm. So enjoy. Alright, so it's raining a little bit, drizzling, kind of weird Fukui weather where it's sunny and it drizzles. And uh, we knew it was going to rain, so we did about three fields this morning, put the rice in here, and now we're just waiting for the rain to stop and dry things off so we can uh, get, get more rice. So I want to show you a different part of the rice process. It's gone through the dryers, and now you've, um, they're actually um, shelling it and bagging it. This is a rice master right here. And he puts the temperature and stuff, I guess, on here. On that, the heaters. This is my boss. Thank you. Uh, this is boss. This is my chief. Chief. Oh. This is our chief right here. But what is this? What is so it comes from there. Right. Uh, uh. So the rice that's been dried is going into here and it's getting shit. And it goes from here to here. Clean up. It's uh, 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 nani. It's it, it cleaning it. It's basically, this is like get shell and now it's getting cleaned in here. And it's going in here. Uh, so that's uh, the shell. The shell in there, I'll show you on the other side. So this is like the shell, uh, the dirt on top of the rice, right? That's coming off of here. And then the clean rice is going in here, get pumped up here and then going right into here. And this is good rice right here. It's a lot of rice. So it's coming down here, and it's putting in this big shoe here. And then it's going from this shoe here, to this here. And this is all dry, but it still has some shell on it. So this thing here just takes the shell off it, Right. You can see the deep shell, this is brown rice right here. Brown rice. There's even a vent all around the back here, and you can see all the, the grasses and stuff coming out here. This is all also shells. So some of the rice shells come out in here. You can see it getting blown out. They're catching it out in here. And now this would be used, put back on the rice field as a kind of fertilizer. It's a high organic. You know, this is a shell. This is all really good. Um, high nutrition content in here. You should really wear a mask. I usually wear this as a mask. So, you know, and then over here, it's blowing out the grasses and things here too. Kind of the grasses that come out. These are the heaters, so the, the light stuff, that light stuff is basically, it's, it's getting blown out in here. This guy's checking the quality of the rice. The Neo Rice Master. Turns it on.
but there's many trays of rice there. So I don't can see all the different trays there. I better get in there and start sweeping. This is the reason why you want to clean your rice, because you can see all the dust and everything else. So the, 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 the big bags of rice that you buy in the store should scrub, and there's a rice cleaner, and my wife is always cleaning the rice. And you'll see all this dust coming off it, because rice is going to be packaged, any rice you buy anywhere in the world is going to be packaged in a place like this, pretty much right at the rice field. So we bring it in, it goes to this, goes to the heater, goes in bags, and then the bags, um, either get sent to another reseller. It's very unlikely that they, they clean it. They probably just rebag it in their own bags and send it out. So always clean your rice. They use a flat plate like this to cut the rice. You grab a little bit of rice. I got one right there in my stomach, that's so good. And then one there. So you got about 100 grains, so you count how many are bad. I got that one right there. So they know 90% is good. So I'm working the conveyor belt. This is the on switch right here. This is the conveyor belt. Uh, there's a plate of glass up here that ultimately uh, is closed, it closes off these belts. This one right here, we have open. You can see here's the rice that I'm pouring in. So I know that's empty. It's got three kilos on it on here.
under here, you have this tie. We'll pull that. opens up three wheels in here and there's a simple there's a simple bow tie in here right pull that So that's unloading the rice. <laughs> the rain has stopped. I'm back in the truck and I'm headed out to the farm. Today I'm actually working with our top um, combine planter harvester. This guy is pretty amazing. And it's great to watch someone who really knows how to, you know, how to work a combine, whether it's a rice planter or in this case a harvester. He's behind me. So I'll try to film. But he's just really, really good, and uh, I always enjoy watching him. Here's an example. I just got here, and he's cutting it very different than I would, I would have or I thought he would cut it. Check it out. So here he is, and you can see he's he instead of cutting down the side, he is actually cutting down the middle, and he's leaving four rows here to cut. Um, so he's probably cutting it in such a way so he can, you know, cut it all in a methodical way. So instead of cutting like you would think starting on the side here, he's leaving the four rows that he can cut, right? And cutting down the middle. And I bet it's a way to cut all this without actually having to, um, you know, to like stop and start and everything else to his madness. This is what I like about watching him. He really knows what he's doing. So while he's cutting, I gotta get these bags and there is this inner bag and you simply do a simple like uh, uh, shoelace tie around this. As you can see here, and I actually just have it so one string is pulled. Now you tuck this in and you tie this other piece here. This is the bottom of the bag. Basically there's an inner flap that comes in and then you pull this tight and these outer flaps fold in on the inner flap and again do a simple tie with a one pull release. Both of them are one pull releases. So here it is, this piece of plastic comes in, that's a one pull release right here. This is not gonna open up and this is the bottom. And you can see what he did, he went up there and he came back and he's got this all cutting here. And now he's cutting it at an angle. So he, he started four out, he came back, he backed up and now he's cutting at an angle. And now he's gonna cut in this here. 